Hey, apropos of nothing, I wanted you guys to be aware that one of the uh, customization items they've added to the Master Chief Collection that wasn't in the original game was this grunt plushy backpack for the uh, Halo 3 multiplayer. <laughs> Aww. Single-handedly funding Yap Yap's latest scheme. I think that was a novel character. There you go. You are a worthy opponent. Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Anniversary. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, last time, though it nearly killed me, in fact it did kill me on several occasions now that I think about it, I cleared out this goddamned canyon! Despite all the goddamned Covenant and all the goddamned Flood and these goddamned tanks. Let's start off this episode by giving a shout out to Derek Floyd who uh, also had some information about the different models used for this gun. Uh, let's see... The OG assault rifle is the MA-5B, and it's the only one of the line that takes 60 round magazines. Uh, the one they use here as the Anniversary Edition model is the MA-5C from Halo 3. I was right, though. The, uh... The, the assault rifle from Reach is the army variant, the MA-37. And it notes that uh, other than the than this one right here, all of the MA-5 line use uh, 32 round mags. Also, shout out to Roshan, who keeps informing me of all kinds of delightful things I didn't know about the Flood. Like, uh... this tidbit. You know the best thing about the Flood? The only reason they, uh, spread is because ancient humans used it on some furry animal that was used as a super popular pet. So by the time the first Flood attacks happened, humanity had already screwed themselves over because we need to make everything a pet. And what is already a pet, we need to make even better. I like how ominous that sounds. <laughs> Alright, I've been standing in this damn snow for too long. Let's get out of here. Although I do suddenly wonder if Mjolnir armor has heating systems. I guess it would need to, in order to be, like, vacuum, you know, sealed. Well, not vacuum sealed, but, you know, vacuum... ready, you know? Like, you can go into space with these things. And you can. I've seen the Chief do it. The fuck? Oh, shit! That's what those are. Oh, I am definitely at a disadvantage here. Why, you might ask? Because they can hover in place, and I can't. Uh, uh... Not much worse. Oh, hey, look at that. Ah! Damn, that trigger is sensitive. That actually startled me. It really, really did. Huh. I found it funny, I realized yesterday that I have actually had more startling moments in this series like, more moments that actually caught me off guard and startled me in this series than in, uh, the Halloween game I did this year, uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. We learned last time. Oh, oh fuck. What? Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Neither was he, to be fair. Shit, man. I just can't win. I crushed myself with the damn Banshee trying to put it in a better parking spot. At least the tanks are dead. Is this before or after I killed those invisible guys who are behind me? That's really important to know. Hey guys, are you there? I'm never going to be free of this canyon. Not even one time. Oh boy. Let's make him dance. Okay, first you die. 
Nothing personal. Just... It's going to be a lot easier to do that than that. Bunny hopping. Fuck, man. Ah! Hey, your brother's dead. Would anyone else like some again? Hmm? Second helpings for all? No? Fine. Oh, well, I think I saw a health kit up on that platform I'm supposed to be landing on anyway. Now, if you look closely, you can actually see the Chief's feet sticking... Well, not the Chief, but yeah, there they are in this model. And you could always see the Elite's feet sticking just out the back. So they must have a different model of Banshee that they use for uh, going into space, because I have seen them out there. Like, I wonder where the entire cockpit is enclosed, I mean. Time for some vandalism. Huh, maybe that was easier. Maybe it's because they're plasma weapons. I don't know. Okay, don't fall off the cliff. Don't park in a wall. Don't crush yourself. <sighs> All the things I have to remember. It seemed like they would really have to be obvious. Wicked. Ah, <sighs> that's better. I have to be very careful. I don't want to fight any of those fuckers anymore. Damn it! Ah, there it is, there it is! I got faked out by loading and done, rather than uh, the checkpoint one. Back in the day, that would actually hitch up the game. Uh, and it was possible to have the things go loading for several seconds. If you were running into an area they weren't expecting you to go. I didn't notice they had energy shields of their own before. Uh, no, it's kind of overkill. Let's just hide. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I guess they did, didn't they? Much more subtle effect in this. Holy fuck, why don't you die? I'm dying again. Look, I know it's literally your job, and you probably don't actually have a personality, so you don't care that I'm talking to you. But I have to break this generator, even if you don't want me to. Sorry! Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. We ahead of you. Oh. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. Confirmed. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shields. Needless to say, I think we should only try this once. Do it. Absolute chaos. 
From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo when they found the Flood, but they were too late. The Flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. The Covenant are terrified the Flood will repair the ship and use it to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize the Flood and repair the ship for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. <laughs> oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be... Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was her first time trying that, so... I guess I'm just lucky I didn't come out inside out. I'm gonna note, I don't actually know whether this is, uh... Chief, don't be a fool. Leave me. Captain? Captain? I've lost him. Oh, right. Sorry. Yes, some for you too. Oh, they were the same one. He just wanted more. Huh. There's no trace of that slime at all in the old graphics. That's weird. Now there's no trace of me at all. Pardon me a moment. Sorry about that. Honestly, that was just putting them out of their misery. And that was just practicality. Hello? I'm starting to say, uh, I don't actually know whether this is the truth and reconciliation. They definitely use a lot of the, uh, same assets, but, uh, it might just be a different Covenant cruiser. Okay, red still means no go on Covenant ships, at least. Oh dear. What a deep and abiding mess. Yeah, let's take that shotgun. You're not a buton, you're not a buton. Are you a buton? Unpleasant. This projector is broken. That's how bad this is. Analyzing damage. This hole was caused by some kind of explosive. Very powerful if it tore through the ship's hull. All I detect down there are pools of coolant. We should continue our search somewhere else. Right. Uh, that's a lot of dudes. Increasing. Put bullets in the damn gun, Chief! Uh, that jump into the coolant is looking better all the time, Chief. You know what? I kind of back you up on that. Let's go. Chili! Oh no, wait, that's right, I'm in a helmet. Haha, -ha. so I can just hang out in my. Actually, Let's you know what? That's a bad idea. Find another way back aboard the ship. It's alien coolant, it can't be good for me. Sup? Oh, alright. Why did that one die? And the flood are following me, that's cool. Hi there! Do you want an autograph or something? I 
I mean, he's got an arm. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, off I go then. Yeah, it's just kind of draining out straight out of the model here. I do appreciate that they've actually like made a hole there for the goo to drip out of. Hang on, where's the giant hole I dropped out of? Huh. Where am I going anyway? I'll just follow this wall right here. Yeah, this seems right. No, this rock is not a terminal. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. Ow. I don't enjoy picking on both sides during a war, but in fairness, I'm pretty much the only fighting soldier left on our side, so somebody's got to do it. see. Oh, my organs. I needed those! Okay. That made me feel better. Oh, uh, hi guys. How's it going? Okay, I can take a hint. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Oh, it's so viscous and thick. I didn't notice that before. It's probably like wading out of pudding getting out of that pool we landed in. They just seem to be uh, endlessly coming down, so let's just go. weird. Uh, I don't know what that's about. Pardon me while I go check on our router. Well, uh, I don't know about reconnecting to Xbox Live. Everything seems okay. But the timer did go just after I, uh, stopped recording there. Oh, and these guys have stopped falling from the sky. So there's that.
It's actually really quiet now. Huh. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Halo Anniversary when we head up there. And, uh, this time do a better job of rescuing Captain Keys before we leave. Later!